What is up, ladies and gents? It's your boy, Lou Streets, and we are back with some more Tekken 8. In this tutorial, we're gonna be discussing the Dragon Charge, better known as the DSS from Tekken 7, but it is now called the Dragon Charge in Tekken 8. While discussing all of the different moves within the stance, we're also gonna talk about different ways you can get into the stance and hide it from your opponent. So let's break it down. Okay, so let's go over the DSS attacks just for reference. We have the slide, which is down for a three, and gives you nunchuck OTG if they do anything but stand directly up. We have standing four, which is a stump. This plus six on hit, as you can see. Let's get into the mids. For the mids, we have four three and four one. Both of these are heat engagers, so you can heat dash on them. Four three and four one. We also have three plus four. Three plus four. Three plus four can go into a four also, but that's a high, so be careful. You can do this, and it's gonna hit right here, but if somebody can actually duck and punish that, so be careful with that one. So those are the mids. Now, for the high attacks out of Dragon Charge, we have standing three, standing two, and standing one. Those are all highs, and standing one actually takes you right back into Dragon Charge. He also has some chain attacks as well. Sorry, guys, before we get into the chain attacks, I forgot the other DSS high is four four. 4-4, four, four, which is the legend kick, all right? Now let's go into the chain attacks. The chain attacks or combo strings that we would have in DSS is 4-2, back 2, 1-2, two, two, and that's gonna end in the mid, but if they duck, it's a nice setup for a while standing. Again, 4-2, back 2, 1-2. Two. Then next we have 4-2, back 2. 2-2 two, two is slightly delayed, but that ends in his backwards elbow, again. 4-2, back 2, 2-2. Two, two. Then we also have 4-2-2-2. Two, 4-2-2-2. Two, two, two. Two, two, two. All right, guys, so one more time for the F-2-2, two, two, 1 plus 2. Looks like that. There we go. Then we have the nunchucks, which is 1 plus 2. Nunchucks, which is 1 plus 2. Then we have the 6-inch punch which is four, two, one, but you kind of roll it really quickly. You gotta roll the buttons quickly, so just kind of flick your fingers across, and that's plus on block. I use that in the corner all the time because it has wall bounce, so you can set that up into a good one, two, three to just keep the pressure going. And then last but not least, we have the throw, which is up four, one plus two. Look at it one more time. Up four, one plus two. And so those are all of our DSS attacks or dragon charge attacks. Now let's talk about how to get into these stances while hiding from your opponent. Okay, so the thing is, a lot of people know about getting into DSS by just pressing down, one plus two. When you see that shimmy, you're in the stance. However, Law has a ton of strings to go into this, and you need to know what the best ones are. So I'm gonna start with the first one, which is side step three, and the reason I'm picking this one is because this only works on hit. If they block it, this doesn't work. But side step three, side step three, and automatically, Law goes into it, you see he's plus seven on hit, and now, He's riding the DSS right there, right? So side step three is the first one. That's the first way to get into it. You can side step three, four, just kind of mix them up. Side step three, mid, different ways like that. So side step three is the first one. So the next one that's most commonly used is four, three and holding four when he does that little hop. That's DSS or four, three, four, same thing. But you don't want to get in the habit of doing this because the last two kicks can't be punished as highs. So if your opponent ducks that, you're getting cooked. So that is the way to do it, but don't get in the habit of doing this. I'm just showing it to you because it works as far as going into DSS, but don't build this habit. Now this next one is one of my favorite ones because it's a mid and it's F3-1. And then you just hold forward as you see. Lost plus four when he goes into the shimmy. Take that into the stump, mix it up, go into the grab, something like that. And the thing with this is that because this can be mashed on, a lot of times somebody will try to attack when they see this. You just arm it right through or something like that. But F3-1, that's our next one, holding forward. With all of these, you're pretty much gonna have to hold forward, so keep that in mind. Unless it's an automatic hit that takes you in the DSS, nine times out of 10, you gotta hold forward. In fact, 99% of the time, you gotta hold forward, except for when it comes to side step three and while standing three, but I'll show you that one later. Now, this one, it's actually one I really enjoy because I just discovered this a few days ago and I've been playing Law since launch. Repeat this, right? So if I do back one, two, as you see, Law's gonna do one, two, three to attack me back, right? So he does that, right? But if I go through with this whole entire attack, watch this, because this is a heat engager and I can heat dash off it, watch this. This time I'm gonna do back one, two, two and go through with the whole string, watch this. Watch this. 
So you see we get a full combo off of that, right? But the trick to this is pretty cool. If I condition them and they try to mash on that, I can either do a heat dash because I'm already in heat or it's a heat engager. But this is the wild part. Let me show you something different. So now I'm gonna make it where Law doesn't swing back when I press back one, two, right? So now let's imagine that we have Law condition because we just blew him up with that big combo from our previous clip, right? Now let's do this. If we do back one, two, and you see, full string, but it's negative 14 on block, right? Because we got him respecting it because he's conditioned, but peep this. If I do back one and hold forward, I'm in DSS right now. See the shimmy? I'm in DSS right now. If I press back one, two, and hold four, I'm in DSS right now. I'm in DSS right now. So what this means is, now that we got him conditioned and we got him respecting, we can do shit like this. Hold four, we go into DSS, now we can stump. Now, he, now we got to confuse, it's the mind games. Or hold four, go into the grab. Now we get that punish right there. Back one, two, hold four, slide. Or instead of going all the way to back one, two, hold four, just off back one, hold four, boom, we got him right there. Slot. So you see the layers in that, like the condition of doing back one, this is a whole different way where you can get a full combo punish, or you can extend your heat, or you can condition them into your DSS setup because of the fact that you can do it off back one. This is what I mean about the different layers of going into the string versus just pressing down one, two, where they can see it coming. So this is where the directional rhythm comes into play because the next one that we have here is while standing four. Now remember what I said. If it's not a DSS that's automatic off hit like side step three or while standing three, you'll probably have to hold forward to initiate it. So while standing four, we're gonna duck down, press while standing four as he's coming up, and then hold forward. So when I do the little skip, I'm literally holding forward on the controller. Maybe I should show you my input commands. Okay, so now I got the input, the input commands on. So I'm holding down while standing four, and you see I'm holding forward. That last hit you see, as you see four right there, then forward. So I'm holding forward to initiate, so remember that. So holding forward to initiate. So we got that figured out, right? But now let's get into the layers of how we can hide this because we're doing while standing forward in DSS, but there's ways we can pretty much force this situation to happen. Okay, so now we know that while standing forward works, but how can we hide this and get into the layers? We can do it in different ways. So let's look at it like this. Let's do F1 plus two. As you see when I do F1 plus two, it bends the opponent downward and it takes me downward as well, almost in a while standing in a while standing like position. So if I press F1 plus two, then I hold down, as you see, I'm already down here. So just think about the layers as they come together. So you press F1 plus two, you're already holding down, so what do you do? You just let go down, press while standing forward, and you walk forward. That's how you get into the SS. So uh, uh, and you see we already into it. You see the skip? We already into it. Look at my inputs. You see F1 plus two, then I'm holding down, I'm letting go down, pressing forward, and then pressing forward. So your opponent will think you're just attacking, but they don't even see the setup coming. Let's look at it one more time. DSS right there, just like that. And what do we see? They just saw all attacks. F1 plus two, ducking down while standing forward, holding forward, going right into DSS. So that's one way you can do it. But now think about this. So we have F1 plus two, right? Remember the string I showed you earlier with the F2, back two, one, two? It looks like this. What do you see on that last attack? What, is, what does it look like? That looks the same, right? Exactly the same. So think about this. If I just showed you F1 plus two, hold down while standing forward in the forward, then what does that mean? You can do it on this string also because that animation looks the same way. So let's see if we can do a smooth. We in DSS right now. We in DSS, we just ended with Dragon Ken. Let's look at it one more time. Look at that. So now, I didn't showed you while standing four, but off the while standing four, you can hide that with an F1 plus two, or you can do that with a full chain string into it. Anything that's got you ducking down, you can come up into it. And the thing is, while standing four is a mid, so they have to respect this and react to it. So it's like, now think about it. You do while standing four, go right back into the stump. Or you go while standing four, while standing four, you just keep doing it over and over. Or because you conditioned them and got them ducking down because of the stump, so you're going while standing four, stump. Now you can start going into different mind games like while standing forward, duck down like you're going again, but then take that into up four three, which is a heat engager. So it looks something like this. He gonna block it because I got him set to block, but it looks something like this. You can go, uh, uh, hold up, let's go. Uh, 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 like that, right? So that little duck down is gonna make him flinch because you're ducking back into it. And then if you really wanna condition him, you know, uh, uh, you see that? Now it's just a lot of different mind games for them to watch for. This is all off of one button. All this layer is off while standing four. So if you got, uh, uh, you got that layer, you got, uh, uh, got this layer, you got, uh, uh, stump, 
You know what I'm saying? And then when you got them turtled up, what can we go back into? We got them turtled up like this. Uh, uh, into the grab. I mean, the layers start to get silly. This is all off one button. This is all off one button. Let's go into the next one, because it's more. It's much, much more. Matter of fact, I can skip right into it off of this, because outside of doing while standing four, when you do while standing three, it automatically puts you in DSS without you even doing the directional input. So now look at this. Uh -huh. Every time I duck down like that, it's always DSS, and that's while standing three right there. I'm just ducking in, letting it go. Ducking in, letting it go. Every time it's DSS, now I can go right to the slide. So I mean, do you see how the layers start to come together? Think about all these different ways I just showed you. The layers just really start to come together and you can fuck with your opponent's mind and it's all based off your movement, but you gotta know how to get into the SS without them seeing it initially. So now think about the dash that you see me doing off while standing three just a minute ago. So now if we doing DSS, when we press down four, Law takes that step like you wanna approach, right? Cause that's how he would go on the slide if you press three. So if we was to step back again, we do DSS, take that step forward, DSS, take that step forward, it's like we sliding. But now this is where things get really tricky because if we do while standing three, now while standing three automatically takes you in DSS. If you see, when I do while standing three, I'm not pressing the directional input at all. You can look at my command history, but you see, Law does that skip to go into DSS. So now, when you press him down for it, that's the dash right there. That's the same exact thing as me doing this, going into DSS and then pressing down for it. So now you see how the layers start to come together? Now we got about one or two more different ways of entry. So now, when we in DSS and we press one, if you see on block or even on hit, he just automatically goes back into it. So let's say you back somebody up, slide in. Whenever you do DSS one, law automatically just goes back into it. I'm not pressing no directional input. He just goes back into it. So, uh, you can just keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? You can just keep doing it. You gonna keep going to DSS? Decide you wanna do a mid, he can dash up, right? So these are all the different ways to go into it. I think I got one more and that is six inch punch. So six inch punch is the same thing. If you hold forward, you see he'll go right back into it, right? So hold forward, you back him up, then dash in off something, right? Or, you know, into the slide, because you got a condition. So these are all the different ways to get into it, but the main thing is just being able to hide it. So it's like you got wild standing four, you got side step three, you got F3 one, you got back one, you got back one two, you got back one two two for the full combo if they want to mash on it. You got wild standing four that you can hide in other streams. So the main point of this video is just to show you all the different ways you can get into those layers because you're never really gonna make DSS successful by just going in the stands. But when you start hiding it like this, you know what I'm saying? Now we talking something completely different. We got one more string to show you. That's back two, three, four. Now the thing about this string is, the back two, three portion of it can be parried because it's a low. So keep that in mind, you said that low is hidden, but a good player will parry that so you can back two, you can, you can stagger it so they can throw off their timing for the parry. But pretty much back two, three, four, that'll take you into DSS as well. Just make sure you're not too reckless with it. But the main point of this video is just to show you all the different ways you can get in DSS. You can hide it. I showed you about 13 different ways. I've never really counted off the top of my head, so I don't know how many it actually is. But I mean, as you see, there are a ton of mind games as far as ways to get into DSS. So if you're trying to get nice with law, just review this video and just kind of let the layers start to expand to your mind. Because the reality is, all the knowledge that I have on this is too much to put in one video because it's so flexible. It gives you so much flexibility. Like if I, if I do DSS one, you know, I can take that into slide dash. I can take that into slide dash, come back up with an up four three. I can do that into this, go into a mid. If I think they're gonna mash on it, I can go into an armored attack, you know what I'm saying? Step them back, go into, you know what I'm saying, wild standing three and I'm right back in the DSS again. Like, it just gets crazy. So the main point is just to show you all the different ways you can enter into it. And then as you practice law and you expand your mind, just continue to get more comfortable with them. And just think about all the different ways you can approach it. Even me, sometimes I almost feel like, like Thanos, like my brain is expanding and I'm getting more and more pieces of the gauntlet because there's just so much you can do. But the main point of this was to show you guys all the different ways you can get into DSS and how the layers can really start to develop. So I hope this helps. If you guys can think of any other ways that I might not have shown in this video, leave it in the comments because there's a possibility I could have missed, missed something. But for the most part, I hope that I did and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So the next time it's your boy Lou, I'm out. Peace. DSS with all. Oh! Man, I love this fucking character. Uh-huh. Why did catch that?